Are you wondering if yoga can help you get ready for your hip surgery? Then keep watching. I have a yoga sequence for you that helps you prepare you for your hip replacement, strengthens the body, and helps you feel better. My name is Chi, and you're welcome to Cheese Yoga. Open your eyes and you will this is a very difficult time in your life. You've always lived an active life and you never needed any help from anybody and now you find yourself in this situation getting ready for your hip surgery, replacing one or two hips and that is a very difficult decision to make and obviously the only thing I can say is that I'm sorry that you find yourself in this situation but I want to help you get empowered and at least have something to do to feel stronger as you go into this hip surgery. Make sure that you have a mat or a carpet you can lie on and a lot of pillows and bolsters and blankets because you are absolutely unique and we want to make sure that you stay within the pain-free range, all right? So please lay down, make sure your head is comfortable. If you need a pillow for your head, use it. Roll onto the back. And at this point, keep your knees bent. If your knees are healthy, then move your heels as close to the buttocks as you can. If your knees are a bit fragile, then keep the angle a bit wider. I'm sure you've seen that difference. Turn the palms up. Feel your feet on the ground, your hips, your pelvis, your shoulder blades the back of your head on that pillow and let go. Let the thoughts come and go. At this point, you want to take in all the sounds that's around you. Start to listen to the sounds closer to you and the sounds further away and notice the way the sounds fade in and out. At this point, notice your breath. If you feel comfortable closing your eyes, please do so. I'm not going to move at this point so you can actually just listen to my voice. And I suggest you rest your palms on the belly and just notice the movement of the belly as you breathe in and out. Try to breathe through the nose exclusively. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Lengthen the back of the neck, tuck the chin under, and observe the movement of the breath, of the belly, the bulging of the belly as you breathe in and the softening of the body as you breathe out. At this point, I invite you to move the palms to your hips. Rest your palms on your hips, on the hip bones. Keep your elbows wide, lengthen the back of the neck again. And try to take deep breaths into the palms, which means that you take a deeper breath. So you breathe into the lower belly 
and from there into both sides of the belly towards the hip bones to both sides. Breathing in and breathing out. Keep all eight corners of your feet on the ground, big toes, little toes and the heels. And with every exhalation, release the breath into your hips, into the lower belly, into both ends, both sides, the outer sides of the belly. Stay here for five breaths. Keep releasing the breath into the hips. Let your forehead soften and spread, the corners of your eyes soften and spread. Let the corners of the nostrils soften and spread and the corners of the lips soften and spread. And then with the next exhalation, move your fingers to both sides of the body, the palms facing up. And as you inhale, lift the left foot off the ground. At this point, begin to rotate your hips. Keep the right foot on the ground and keep rotating the hip. Try to keep the pelvis square. That means you keep the pelvis in contact with the mat. One more circle into this direction. And then please change the direction. Breathing regularly, full rotation of the hips, of the leg, the hip bones, and one more time. And rest the foot on the ground. Notice both sides, right and left. And as you inhale, lift the right foot off the ground. Full rotation of the right hip. Trying to keep the pelvis square. You can either close your eyes or keep a soft focus. Looking at the ceiling but not staring. Perhaps one hip feels better than the other. Perhaps you're just going in to replace one hip. And keep breathing in and out. At this point, dismantle the pose, get your feet flat onto the ground, and let go. Notice the sensation. Bring your legs as close together as you can and your heels as close to the buttocks as you can. But stay within your pain-free range. Make sure that the knees feel okay, your hips feel okay, your ankles feel okay. As you inhale, begin to arch the back and as you exhale, get a flat back. So what we do is we tilt the pelvis. One more set. Breathing regularly. And one direction will probably feel easier for you and the other one a bit harder. Just make sure that you stay within the pain free range, always within the pain free range. As you keep your back flat, with the next inhalation, lift your feet off the ground. We try to get a rectangle, your legs rectangular. That means your shins are parallel to the ground. Perhaps that's hard for you, that's absolutely fine. Begin to curl in the belly, that's the most important thing and keep breathing in and out. You notice that you begin to engage the abdominal muscles 
and that's very important. You want to make sure that your core is strong as you go into the surgery so that you don't put too much weight into the hips as you can't really bear so much, so much weight on your hips after the surgery. So breathing in and out. If this is hard for you, please stay here. That's absolutely fine. If you can go further, then we do exactly the same thing with the pelvis we did earlier. That means the tilt of the pelvis. Inhalation, anterior pelvic tilt, that means you arch the back, you have some space under the back, and as you exhale, curling the belly in, flat back, pulling the belly in, and this is what we do a few times. Inhalation and exhalation. Lengthen the back of the neck. If you're tre trembling, that's great news. You can flex the feet, pulling the toes towards the knees. But if that affects your shins and you feel uncomfortable, just let them be in the, in the position that works for you. So let's repeat this three times. Keep a smile on the lips, soften the jaw. And avoid moving your legs back and forth, okay? That makes it easier. You want to keep your legs stable and just move the pelvis. The last two. Fantastic, great job. With the next exhalation, gently dismantle the poles, get your feet back down onto the ground. Keep your feet together. And again, move your heels as close to the buttocks as you can. And as close together as you can. As I said, stay within the pain-free range. And at this point, you need the blankets. So, pat the buttocks and your hips, the pelvis, on both sides. And perhaps you need more blankets at this point. Make sure you take your time. You can pause the video at this point too and really understand what you need. This is a very vulnerable place for you. So you want to breathe regularly in and out as you slowly begin to separate the legs, okay? So I know you may be afraid that this is going too far, so please stay within the pay-free range. Stay wherever you feel comfortable. If this is as far as you want to go today, this is absolutely fine. This is absolutely okay. If you can and want to go further, please do so too. But make sure you really pad your buttocks and your hips and your legs until you find the position that works for you, where you're not afraid and where you can breathe normally and steadily and regularly, okay? This is super important. So you want to breathe regularly. If you notice that you get a short breath, that you get anxious, that you get tight, then change the angle, please. Perhaps you're even not ready for this exercise then I just invite you to keep the knees bent or to repeat the rotation for the hips, okay? So you can, if you're not ready, breathe along with us. At the same time, you can also go in and out and just notice what you can do today. And I'm sure if you practice the sequence tomorrow, it will get better. Please let me hear from you in the comment section. If today you're fearful, let me know. I'm afraid. Write that below in the comment section. Just below this video, just scroll down and there's space for you to write it. I'm afraid. If you feel comfortable, write, 
uncomfortable, okay? And perhaps that changes from day to day, so please let me know, okay? So we get into this and we breathe regularly and try as much as possible to relax the hips, to let go of the tension. I know this is a very, very vulnerable place and the hips represent faith and trust and that is something we all have our dealings with, okay? So take your time, be kind to yourself, loving and keep breathing into the hips. Again, if you want, you can rest your palms on the hip bones and you can release the breath into the hips, lengthening the back of the neck, keeping your elbows wide and letting the forehead soften and spread. Let's stay here for a few breaths. Remember to breathe through the nose, in and out. And with every exhalation, you want to release some of the stress from the hips, some of the tension, some of the fear. Relax the jaw. We don't want to divert the tension into other areas of the body. We just want to let go. Keep a smile on the lips and please stay here for five additional breaths. If you feel, wow, this feels super relaxed and super cool, everything is fine and I can really relax, then you can actually at this point remove the pillows or the blankets, whatever you've used and let go. But this is not for everyone, okay? You tune into your own body. Own your body, okay? You want to own the pain and not the pain own you, okay? So breathing regularly, the last three. Lengthening the back of the neck. Turning the palms up. Resting your arms on the ground. And then with the next exhalation, gently dismantle the pose. Bring the legs back together, take your time. Do that gently and carefully. Notice what they feel like. And at this point, gently and carefully stretch out the legs. Perhaps you want to use those blankets you've used under the legs. And let go. At this point, please close your eyes. Notice all you've done for the health of your body. Feel the heaviness of your body against the ground, your legs, the pelvis, the back, the back of your head. Turn the palms up, rest your arms on the ground and tune into the breath. Notice the breath again. As you breathe in, breathe deeply into the belly and as you breathe out, send the breath downwards towards the hips, into the legs and through the feet out into the atmosphere. If all that is too much yoga talk for you, then just breathe into the belly and try to release the breath down into the hips, send the breath into the hips. And even if that's too much talk, then just breathe regularly, observing your breath in and out. Please stay here for a little while and please practice this regularly. This is a short sequence you can practice every day, every other day. All the best you're you, gonna you see. help from your hips. Remain left. You're gonna see. If you want customized sequences for your specific health condition, then come on over to thebodyconditioner.com and do your online quiz. The online quiz is a personalized online body assessment that helps me see your body, then assess it and send you customized sequences for your unique health condition. What do you have to lose? Accept your pain. 
If you like what I do, please click the thumbs up below this video. Also, subscribe down here, press that red button right there, and please share this video with every person you feel may benefit.